Do you hear me missing words? Does it sound like I'm skipping words? Mm, not at all. Okay. Yeah. Are you? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, like, I, sometimes I can't tell <laughs> if I do. personal stuff because it's therapy for me so I always wanted to write about personal shit and all she did was love me so why did I complain my heart must be ugly a blackness I've obtained like the devil has touched me put the sickness in my brain I must be insane with my arms outreached pushing you away while protecting my proud needs you had the sunshine to help us grow When I was a kid, I used music to escape from depression and sadness. I grew up in a broken home, parents divorced, uh, you know, brother was out and about so I was really alone a lot of times when I was young through high school I needed something to fill that void my dream is to want to play basketball and I think when that dream died, I picked up a pen and just started writing. Atmosphere is like my favorite Actually, musical around, artist ever because the uh, personal reflections, that's the big part of it. I love how he delved deep into his personal life and like was open about it and he was clever about writing his lyrics. Slug puts a lot of thought into his lyrics. God loves ugly. Louder. God loves ugly. God loves ugly. Uh, I wear my scars like the rings on a pill. I live life like the captain of a sinking ship. The one thing that I can guarantee, I'm a stepping race. You better stay fair with me. Shine basically. It really is, like I wrote, I wrote the verses about, I guess you could say oppression. I, I brought these lyrics about people's struggles, all people. Remove the disease, rip it straight from the source. Before they smarten up, hit the air and go straight for the stalks. Too many folks in the road, kids stay on the course. But too many are blind and won't relate to this war. So who's gonna separate the people from the monsters? While Davy Jones locked the threatens to soften our posture. They keep making those offers, it's refused by loose cannons, but embraced by crews who choose captains. While the truth gets trashed along with the used napkins, getting lost in translation, watching the news happen. So take aim at who's laughing and who's clapping, who's applauding and backing the people struggling with rights. Uh, obviously like the Black Lives Matter movement is like they're struggling with police brutality. Homosexuality is like they're struggling with rights, women's rights, Every everybody's struggling with something because this fucking world is is like attacking people that they're not comfortable with. I don't know how equality is so fucking hard because people fucking don't want a certain race or a fucking certain your sexuality to like they think it's a problem why why is it a problem 
dude, people can't control if they like a man or a woman. They can't. They really can't. They can't control what color they are. It doesn't matter. It's like all that shit is taught. And so that shit is passed on through generations. And it's been like that for so fucking long. And so like a lot of those lyrics stem from that. We'll overcome that. That's what the shine part is about. Like we'll overcome that no matter what you do to us, we will overcome that. And that's what the fucking song's about. And Rodney provided the beat and like he didn't even know I was gonna write about this stuff and like the sample was just so perfect. So the reason I make music like Shine is like, yeah, I do hope it inspires someone to help someone out or or stand up for someone. It's like, I know what Tupac said is like, what he say is like, I can't, he's like, I will inspire the mind that changes the world. It's some shit like that. It's like, maybe my song will inspire someone to change the world. Symptoms of a genocide recorded through better eyes. It's so easy to be pedophiles. They're raping the youth through their fragile minds. We can give you the truth, but so easily it's set aside. How can you let this rise just because you refuse to empathize? You'd rather let them die like a world is actually being gentrified. If we all have a voice, then it won't matter if they censor mine. Just have some sense in mind. Expose the ones that are telling lies.